In this video, I'm going to talk about ArrayList and some of its functionality. If I go to the website here and click on the APCS API, or the Quick Reference, um, and look at the item here, I see I have an ArrayList, and it implements what we call the list. A list is an interface, or basically some of its functionality, what things it can do. So we can get its size, we can add things in ArrayList, we can add it at a specific spot, the first one actually adds to, adds to the end. We can get or extract something from the array list, set a, a, a certain item in the uh, array list to something else, and we can remove it. Uh, so let's take a look at a simple program that demonstrates some of these things. Let me go down here to my project. Um, when you use array list, one of the first things you got to do is you have to make sure to import java.util.arraylist. If your array list doesn't work, you probably forgot that line there. Then to create, create an array list, we say array list, and we tell it what type we want to put in. So I'll say strings for this one. Okay, I'll call it songs new array list of strings and open close parentheses. All right. So one of the first things you can do with an array list is find out what its size is. So let's do that. Let's print out system dot out print line songs dot size. And let's put some text there. The length of the O. And close parentheses here. All right. So we can ask an array list what its size is. And let's save it, compile it, and print out that statement. So length array list is zero, which makes sense because I haven't put anything in it yet. So let's go ahead and add a couple things. So this is another method, another thing you can do with an array list. Songs.add, and we'll add, uh, let's see, brown eyed girl by Jimmy Buffett. Songs.add piano man by Billy Joel. Songs.add, and we'll go in the city by the eagles okay so now let me actually just take this line and cut it and put it after here and now that I've added three songs I'm expecting the size to be three let's save compile oops skw and let's run it and I get a length of three okay so let's print out the actual song so for loops are natural uh, candidates for this because for loops cycle through things. So int. Now, when we deal with arrays or array lists, we use index as our quote unquote counter because we refer to the index of something, the number of the item in the array list. So index is what we use. Index, index less than. Now, songs know their length, so songs.size, which is the number three. We never put a number in there. We never put a number like three or four or five because if the array list length ever changes, so we add more things or remove things, we're going to have to update that number. This, if you add or delete, it will update automatically. So that's an important thing to remember. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so I'm going to print out system dot out dot print line and to get something with arrays we use square brackets with array li lists we use dot get we get something and what we get is we get the index thing so when index is zero it will get the zeroth item which is brown eye girl when it's one it'll get piano man when it's two in the city and it won't never go to three because of the equality we set up here or inequality we set up Okay, so let me compile that, SKW, and let's see what happens. And I got it right there, all three. Another thing that you can do with an array list, which is the power of it, you can remo remove things, and the array list will automatically resize. So I'm going to say uh, randomly songs.remove. I'll remove the zero thing, which is the brown eyed girl. Okay. And then I'm going to then copy this, okay, and just so we don't get uh, confused, system dot out dot print line printing after removal. Okay, 
And I'm going to add a couple extra new lines in here, backslash n, backslash n. That's like a, a, a return, so we can get some separation between the two printouts. Um, so let's run that. It's SKW. And let's run it. And so here are my three songs. And I removed the zeroth item, and I was able to see that there's only two. Okay. And finally, let's do one more thing here. Let's go uh, songs.add. And we're going to add a new new song. I'm going to add a new string. I'm going to say uh, one love. OK. So I've added it. Now add adds to the end. OK. So now we're back to three items. OK. And it should appear at the end. So I'll print. I'll copy this now. And I'll print a, another time. And this is printing after addition. So we're going to add one song, and S, K, I forgot a parentheses here, okay, I'm going to go through, use the same for loop, because I don't need to adjust the uh, size, it knows the size is, is, is uh, incremented by one, and I'll use the same line of code there, S, K, W, and run it, and there we go, Piano Man in the City, and one level was added at the end. Um, so there's a number of methods you can use here, and you can test out these other ones that I have here with add with two parameters. You can add a specific thing at some place. Uh, but in a nutshell, you can see how the um, methods are called for an array list. It's the name of the array with dot, a word like add, or remove, uh, or add again, and then get. So those are the ones you'll use a lot in this class and on the AP exam.